Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. Call Hala, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, which means all praise. Yahawa is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahawa Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only calls Jesus Christ. Baracha Hakwadash means in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers who preach the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, let me just get right into it. This is uh, Psalms, the 92nd chapter. It says a psalm or song for the Shabbat day, for the Sabbath day, which that's what we're in right now. Shabbat Shalom to all you brothers who, who the Spirit is going to allow to um, hear this lesson, Lord willing, it's edify. A psalm or song for the Sabbath day. It is a good thing to give thanks unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings and upon a psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound. And what's that's going into? That's going into doing his work. You know, King David spoke about um, upon that, uh, the, uh, the harp, the psaltery, you know, upon ten strings. This is um first Samuel ten and five. After that thou shalt come to the hill of the most high, where is the garrison of the Philistines, and it shall come to pass when thou art come thither to the city, that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with a psaltery and a tabret and a pipe and a hawk before them, and they shall prophesy. So when we go back to this uh Psalms 92 and 3, and upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon a psaltery, upon the harp, with a silent, with a solemn sound. That's going into us uh, uh, prophesying and, and, and speaking these words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, singing this new song, as the scripture says, matter of fact. Just type in new song. Um, it's going to be hella scriptures that pops up psalms 33 and 3 sing unto him a new song play skillfully with a loud noise you see and that's what we're doing we're playing skillfully on an instrument the instrument is what uh, uh the words the uh the prophecies that the lord has put within our spirit you know psalms 40 uh let me see what else is in there psalms 33 and 1 rejoice in yahweh basham yahweh shaw ye righteous for praise is comely for the upright. Praise Yahweh with harp. Sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of Yahweh is right and all his works are done in truth. You know, and, 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 and that's what we're proclaiming. You know, we're proclaiming the works of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, man, which is a mighty thing to do, you know. Which is which is not to be taken lightly, just like the Sabbath day. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to I, I, Isaiah 58 because out of the billions of people that's on this planet, how many people are keeping the Shabbat, man? You know, out of the billions of Israelites on this planet, let's let's get you know, out of the billions of Israelites on this planet, how many people are keeping the Lord's uh, uh, Shabbat, man? The true Shabbat, you know. Because then you can narrow it down to how many Israelites is within uh, um, of knowing that they are Israelite. And how many of them that's within knowing who they are, how many of them are keeping the Shabbat according to the new moon, according to uh, as our ancient forefathers kept it. You see, because majority of the people that know that they're Israelites, they're keeping it from Friday to Saturday, which you ain't going to find not a Friday or a Saturday written within the scriptures. You know. This is. um. Isaiah 58 and uh, verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Shabbat, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Shabbat a delight, the holy of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. And what's the heritage that we're getting fed with, man? It's this word, it's this song that we're singing. You see? Because in a book, this is uh, the book of Psalms 78. In verse, uh, I'll start at one. 
It says, give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. So so, so this, this Bible is written in parabolic form, you know? So when it speaks about uh, 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 eating the Lord's words or, or it speaks about singing the Lord's song, you know, it's all according to uh, 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 this knowledge that we're being uh, uh, given. This is Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see, we're getting fed. You know, just like uh, it said in, uh, was that the Psalms 33? Hold on, let me let me go back to it. Salakia. Oh no, it was that Isaiah 58. It says, I, I, I will feed the water Yahweh Basham Yahusha. It said, I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob. You know? And what's the heritage of Jacob? Let me grab that real fast. This is Sirach, the 17th chapter. And I started 10. I started now. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever that they might declare his works with understanding. That's what we're doing through the spirit and the elect shall praise his holy name. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage, man. You know, so we're being feed. We're getting, uh, we're getting fed with the law of life, with the tree of life, which is what? Which is uh, uh, the true understanding of these scriptures that we have. You see? So that's how we're able to sing the song. That's how we're able to uh, 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 play upon the um, upon the instruments. It's back in Psalms 92, verse 4. For thou, O Yahweh Basham Yahushai, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. Yeah, you know. It says uh, the Lord has made us glad through 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 this work, man. Hey, because like I said, matter of fact, let me, let's grab that. This is Ephesians, the second chapter, in the 12th verse. It says that at that time you were without Yahweh Shai, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the Most High in the world. But now in Mashiach Yahweh Shai, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Yahweh Shai. You know? And, and, and that's mighty within itself, man. That's how we're able. That's that's how we're made glad through the Lord's work that we have such great uh, uh, mercies presented unto us. You know, the Lord has returned to uh, unto us with a, a, a great favor, as it is written. In His wrath, He smote us, but He returned unto us with, with, with great mercies. Roughly paraphrasing, is verse five. Oh yeah, how about Sham Yahushai? How great are Thy works! And thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a fool understand this, man. You see? That's why the scripture says what? Because when you go into that brutish man, it's stupidity, brutishness, brutish. You know? Goes back to, into stupid. That's why the Lord said, uh, 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 for among, um, um, fuck, let me just get it. Salakia. This Hebrews 4 and 6. It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's not what I'm looking for, but I'm going to read it. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest in me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children, seeing thou hast forgotten thy heritage, man. Like it says in Isaiah, the first chapter, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but my people doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. And to water how about Sham Yahushah, because he gave me the scripture I was looking for. It's Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sad as children, they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You know? And that's why the Lord sent out his, uh, uh, his men, his prophets, his servants, to do what? To tell you, matter of fact, I'm going to just read it. To tell you, it's Jeremiah 44 and 4, how be it? I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. You see? Do not this abominable thing that I hate. One of the, uh, 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 um, the top things that the Lord hates is what? 
profaning his Shabbat, man. Profaning the Sabbath day. You know? There's a scripture, I believe it's in Jeremiah. Um, Salaki, bear with me. It's a scripture where the Lord said, if, uh, if we only had honored the Sabbath day, we would have got punished in our own land, you know? It, 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 we, we, we would still be in the land of Israel going through the punishment. So the, so certain heathens would still rule over us, but at least we would be in our land. At least we would um, know who we are. But because uh, we profane the Sabbath and we left off from the heritage completely, you know, the Lord uh, um, um, put this harsh punishment upon us. Um, Salaki, bear with me while I... Salaki, I can't even think of how to word it, even to, to, to search it up. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's in the book of Jeremiah. But um, we go back to Psalms 92 and 6. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a fool understand this. That's why uh, the Lord said uh, the carnal man is a, 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 a enmity with the Most High. He can't understand the things of the Spirit, roughly paraphrasing the Scripture. You know, that's why we ought to become a new man, a new creature within this thing. Verse 7. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Yahweh Basham Yahushah, art most high forevermore. You know? So just because all, all, all these, uh, um, the, um, the people of this world, the wicked, you know, not just Esau, Edom, but those that's following after his vibration. They're flourishing for a time, but yet they, they shall be destroyed forever. You know, speaking of Esau, Edom, he's going to be eradicated off the earth, but also wickedness will not be found within Israel anymore, man. You know. Uh, verse nine, for lo, thy enemies, O Yahweh, by Sham Yahushai, for lo, thy enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. And that's what's going to take place, man. You know. Like the uh, uh, the Lord said, uh, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Let me get that. It's Job chapter 20 and verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, though he be proud in a hoe, right? Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung, like a piece of shit. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. And this is what's going to take place unto Esau, Edom and all wickedness throughout the earth, man. You know? All the wicked doers within Israel, man, hey, you're going to die to death and you're uncircumcised and you're going to come back in the kingdom righteous. You see? All the wicked of Esau after a thousand years of hardcore slavery, he's going to be put to the fire. He's going to be put out of this earth. You know? That's what's going to happen to all workers of iniquity, all those that do wickedness. That's why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and Native Americans, you Israelites, according to the Bible, hey, man, you know? It behooves you to get right. Verse 10. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. And that's what the Lord is doing unto us, man. You know, we're being anointed with fresh oil. The scripture says that we have an uh, unction and we know all things. That unction goes back to an anointing. We have an anointing. And we know all things, man. The fresh oil represents the understanding of these scriptures according to Matthew, the 25th chapter. The five wise virgins, they took oil in their lamps. They trimmed their lamps, man, and those, those lights uh, 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 burned bright, man. In the book of Proverbs, it says that uh, um, this is um, the book of Proverbs 
4 and 18. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So when you couple that with Matthew, the 25th chapter, you know, uh, and, and, and we are those uh, uh, those those lamps. So we must need oil within those lamps in order for that light to continue to burn. And then when you trim your lamps, when you trim it, uh, uh, you cut off the excess pieces of the wick so that the fire may burn brighter. So that, that that fire getting shiner and shiner and brighter and brighter is you trimming your lamp, meaning that fire coming up, man, which means what? It means you uh, cutting off the excess pieces that's not needful for uh, 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 for your betterment in the spirit. Verse 10, uh, Psalms 92 and 10. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. And that horn re represents power. The Lord is exalting our power, man. That's what's taking place. That's why according to Revelation, the 11th chapter, man, great fear fell upon them that saw us, man. These elites are, 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 are shaken. That's why they're going to come down with great wrath according to Revelation 12 and 12. You know, they're going to pull out all the stops to demonize the Hebrew Israelites. These devils know what's coming upon them, man. Verse 11, my eye also shall see my desire on my enemies. And my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me, man. This is what the Lord is going to do for us, man. Those, those that call his Shabbat a delight. You understand? Those that, that, that's hearkening unto his words. The Lord said, why callest thou me, Lord, Lord, if you do not the things that I say? He said, uh, 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 him that heareth my words and doeth them, I will liken him unto a man that built his house upon a rock. So when the floods came and the winds blew, so when the affliction comes, man, you know, it's going to beat upon that house. But the house going to stand firm because it's built upon a rock, man. You got people, man, who, who, who watch the Hebrew Israelites, not for edification, not to get built up, but for, uh, uh, for entertainment, man. And all you people going to die grievous, horrible death. Who, who, who take this as a joke, who watch this just for entertainment. Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, lets you know that the people just watch this for entertainment. Lo, there are like a very uh, lovely song unto thee, man. So these people think it's just entertainment. It's, it's just something to, uh, uh, oh, they, the, the Israelites, who they cussing out this week? Who they talking about? The nigger woman, Esau. And when all hell break loose, man, hey, hey, you ain't going to be able to stand in that day because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. So instead of watching the Hebrew Israelites to gain wisdom and knowledge, to gain understanding on how to maneuver, to gain understanding on how to serve Yahweh Basham Yahusha, that he may protect you in that day, yet you looked at it for entertainment. So therefore, you know the Lord's will. You heard the words and you knew what you were supposed to do, but yet you didn't apply them. So therefore, great judgment is coming upon you, people, man. Verse 11, my eye also shall see my desire on my enemies and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. Not only is this talking about Esau, but it's talking about two thirds of our people as well. You understand? We we we, we going to see our desire upon you niggas, man. We going to hear with our ears the judgment that happened unto you niggas, man. Verse 12, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Yeah, you know, like the Lord said. In Psalms, the first chapter, this is the book of Psalms one and one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And the law is the whole book. It's having the mind of Yahweh Shai. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O father. You understand? So we must meditate upon these precepts, man. The whole book. This is how you have the mind of Yahweh Shai. This is how you know what's pleasing unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. According to Romans 12, it says that uh, be ye transformed with the renewing of your mind that you may know what is that peaceful and good will of the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing. It's verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. John 7 and 38, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. So that tree is constantly getting nourished. Why? Because you are abiding in the vine, according to the book of John. I believe it's the 15th chapter, verse 1. Don't quote me on it, but hey, 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 hey find it. Yahweh Shai is the vine, and as long as we abide in him, 
We're going to stay fruitful. He shall be as a tree. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper, man. You understand? So when all hell breaking loose, man, hey, hey, when the spirit tell a, a man of the Lord to go right, he's going to prosper when he goes right. If the spirit tell him to go left, he's going to prosper when he goes left, man. But the ungodly are not so. <laughs> Verse four, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth the way. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish, man. It's back in Psalms 92 and verse 12. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our power. Yeah, man. What did Yahweh Shai say? He said, every plant that my father have not planted shall be rooted up. So if we planted in the house of the Lord, who planted us? Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know, verse 14, they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing <laughs> oh, to show that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him, you know. So hey, hey, that, was, that was all through the spirit. You know, I was going through my notes and I just had a random scripture, uh, Psalms 92, just just sit, sitting right there on my pad. So I decided to go to it. And when I read the first verse, it said a psalm, a song uh, 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 for the Sabbath day. And we just so happened to be in the Shabbat right now, you know, so I felt it was meat to uh, 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 to go into this. You know, so Lord willing, I hope it was edifying, encouraging. A Shabbat Shalom, you know. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baruch Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel in truth and in sincerity and in charity. Shalom.